Hello everyone, welcome to new video. Today we are going to discuss about living world and classification of microbes. In that we, what we are going to discuss it, what is the hereditary of classification of living organism? Who invent binomial system of nomenclature? Which levels of heritage are considered with writing the name in binomial molecular or nomenclature? First, we are going to discuss about biodiversity and the need of classification. Last year in 7th standard, you have studied that living organisms on the earth have adapted according to geographic regions, food ingestion, defense, etc. While adapting many differences are observed in the organisms of a same species too. What is meant by biodiversity? the various thing that we are suspend, suspended or surrounded to us which we can study over here is known as biodiversity students according to 2011 around 87 million species of living organisms are found on the earth including land and sea because we know very well earth portion 75 percent of earth will be covered with the water which are sea water and remaining rest of 24 to 25 percent land is there to study such a vast number it was essential to divide them into groups so the groups are subgroups were created considering the similarities and the difference among the living organism these process of dividing living organism in the group and subgroups is called as biological classification student note down this definition the process of dividing living organism into the groups and subgroups is called as biological classification Robert Harding Whitaker, 1920 to 1980, was an American ecologist. In 1969, he divided living organism into five groups that we are going to discuss it in detail. First, what we are going to do is, from where it will be start and from where it will be end up. So, as we have seen on the screen, the Carl Linnaeus in 1735 divide living organism into two kingdoms, Vegetabilia and Animalia. Haeckel in 1866 considered the three kingdoms, Protesta, plants and animals. In 1925, Catton created two groups, prokaryotic and eukaryotic, these are the cell structure as well. In 1938, Copeland divided living organism into four kingdoms, Monera, Protesta, plant and animals. These all points we are going to discuss in detail in this chapter. Students, as we know, in which groups they were classified for this classification Whitaker considered the some criteria that we are going to discuss it before that I wanted to tell you students the earth is surrounded with the many of organisms living organisms such as uh, um, animals plant means person living beings tiger all the kind of things all the things that you are able to see on the earth surface these are known as a species so earth is nothing but the combination of all several species together in that we are going to discuss in detail mujhe ek baat batao bachcho classification karna yahan pe kyu zaruri hai why we need to classify these components into a different one because of we know very well when we classify them when we sort rate out them at that time it is more convenient to understand the phenomenon to research it and to study it so while discussing this phenomenon we can clearly mention some of those points which we have seen previously now students some of the points were like that means what we can see over here see this dekhiya aapke paas agar bahut sare grains aa gaye sare grains ko aapne kya kiya hai ek jagah pe store kar diya is it possible to sort it out them no so that's the reason these classification where means by the robert harding whitaker classification he considers some following criteria now on the screen you are able to see the criteria see students as you can see first of all here complexity of the cell structure complexity is divided into two that is prokaryotic and eukaryotic what is meant by prokaryotic prokaryotic are unicellular and eukaryotic are multicellular and unicellular as well next complexity of organism unicellular or multicellular uni means what having one cell only and multicellular means what having more than one cell now next classification is mode of nutrition 
plant autotrophic and photosynthetic fungi sparotrophic and absorption from the dead organism animals heterotopics and ingestive next as per its classification it is classified into its lifetime that is first one is plant which are producer animals which are consumer and fungi which are decomposer so we have seen the phylogenetic relationship prokaryotic to eukaryotic unicellular to multicellular as you can see the chart on the screen right now in the chart living organisms has classified into two prokaryotic and eukaryotic prokaryotic is unicellular in which one kingdom is there that kingdom is kingdom monera and in eukaryotic unicellular and multicellular both the organisms were formed in unicellular eukaryotic having kingdom protista which is the second kingdom and in multicellular organism three kingdoms were there kingdom th third fungi kingdom fourth planty and kingdom kingdom five animalia kingdom three fungi fungi consist of cell wall which are present but organism can't perform the photosynthesis next is kingdom planty cell wall present and the organisms can perform photosynthesis and the last one animalia no cell wall present in what exactly hang, happens in fungi cell wall present but organisms can't perform photosynthesis which means they cannot make their own food next is cell wall present and organisms can perform photosynthesis which is planty is nothing but the plant plant mein aapne dekha hoga na aap kya karte ho plant ko kuch karte ho kya कुछ भी नहीं प्लांट्स क्या करते हैं एनिमल्स मतलब जो सनलाइट है सन रेडिएशन है उसको कैप्चर करते हैं और उसके ऊपर जो है अपना जो है लिविंग मतलब खुद का खुद फूड बना के खुद का खुद प्रिपेयर करके वो जो है जीते हैं ना तो नेक्स्ट इज किंगडम एनिमेलिया जिसके अंदर सेल वॉल प्रेजेंट नहीं होता है दीज आर नोन एज किंगडम एनिमेलिया ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन स्टूडेंट्स किंगडम फर्स्ट दैट इज मोनेरा what you have to do is beta you have to take a small drop of a curd on a butter milk on a clean glass light dilute with a little water carefully keep the cover slip and observe under high power compound microscope what did you see the small moving rod like microbes are lactobacillus back microbes as you can see over here students you just pause the video and draw the diagrams first one diagram that is organisms of kingdom monera that diagram you must have to do and you must have to write it down beta so these are kingdom monera ab kya karna hai aapne curd lena hai curd malum hai na butter milk chaach ya fir taak jisko marathi mein hum log taak bolte hai ya fir chaach you have to take that in the test tube i mean means on a cover slip and you have to carefully drop on a that glass light and cover it with the cover slip and you have to observe it under under the microscope you will find it out some rod like structure helical structure of a rod which are right now on the screen you are able to see that is this type of a structure you will get on the microscope so the some of characteristics kingdom monera has characteristics so the first characteristics is all organisms are unicellular unicellular means what having only one cell they may be autotrophic or heterotrophic these are prokaryotic cell without means they were not distinct nucleus or cell organelles in it which we have studied here beta now second kingdom that is kingdom protista so for the kingdom protista prepare a temporary mount of one drop of a pond water on a glass slide observe it under the low power and a high power of microscope you will find it out some motile microbes with the irregular shapes these are amoebas you know yahan pe kya karna hai beta apne sabse pehle pond mein se water lena hai jo hamare naali nadi jo hoti hai na nadi gandi contaminated water jahan pe hum logon ko milta hai wahan se apne jama hua contaminated water lena hai not naali se sorry but contaminated water apne lena hai isme kya karna hai apne iske drops jab aap cover slip pe dal ke aap check karoge तो आप एक चीज नोटिस करोगे वहां पे दैट इज कि वहां पे आपको है ना इरेगुलर स्ट्रक्चर मिलेंगे एंड दैट इरेगुलर स्ट्रक्चर इज नथिंग बट द किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा सो प्रोटेस्टा आर सिंगल कॉल सेल ऑर्गनल्स विथ द वेल डिफाइंड न्यूक्लियस इनक्लोज इन अ न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन 
दे हैव सुडोपोडिया और हेयर लाइक कैनल और वाइप लाइक फ्रैगले और फॉर लोकोमोशन ऑटोड्रॉप्स एग्जाम्पल युग्लिना वॉलवॉक्स कंटेन क्लोरोफा क्लोरोप्लास्ट हेट्रोट्रॉप्स एग्जाम्पल अमीबा एंड पैरामेशियम आर सम ऑफ दोज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा द नेक्स्ट इज किंगडम फंजाई टेक अ मॉइस्ट पीस ऑफ अ ब्रेड और अ भाकरी एंड कीप इट इन अ कंटेनर विथ अ लिड फॉर टू टू थ्री डेज आफ्टर टू टू थ्री डेज यू विल नोटिफाई दैट सम फाइन कॉटन लाइक थ्रेड लाइक टफ इज फाउंड ग्रोइंग ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द ब्रेड प्रिपेयर अ टेम्परी माउंट ऑफ फ्यू थ्रेड्स फ्रॉम द कल्चर एंड ऑब्जर्व इट अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप यू विल नोटिफाई दे बेटा सम ऑफ दोज विच आर एग्जैक्टली कॉटन हेडलाइट स्ट्रक्चर आर नथिंग बट द किंगडम फंजाय और फंगस ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर दीज आर नॉन ग्रीन यूक्योरेटेड एंड हेटेरोट्रॉफिक ऑर्गेनिज्म मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर स्पेरोट्रॉप्स दे फ्री अपॉन डिकिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म मैटर देयर सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ टफ एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स शुगर कॉल्ड किटिन सम फंजाय आर थ्रेड लाइक एंड मेनी न्यूक्लिया आर प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाजम एग्जाम्पल्स बेकर्स ईस्ट बेकर्स ईस्ट एस्पेरिकल्स फंगस ऑन कॉर्न दीज मशरूम्स सो दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फंजाय सो एज यू कैन सी स्टूडेंट्स दो मेनी सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन आर इंट्रोड्यूस आफ्टर विटाकर्स हिज फाइव किंगडम सिस्टम इज वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड so that is why vitakers this system is taken as more plays an important role in the classification of microorganisms of living organisms student i hope you understand this phenomenon if you like this phenomenon so don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have a doubt so ask in the comment box which is given below thanks for the watching thank you